Hi, I'm Tiffany, um, Tiffany Shelton Mary O, and I just wanted to come on here quickly and give you um, a technique that you can use to stop a panic attack naturally and stop one fast in the moment. This is a tip from a, a DBT skill from by Marsha Linehan, which is an evidence-based uh, therapy practice and it's DBT and it's actually the acronym is called TIP, T-I-P-P -P. and the first step in the acronym is TIP your temperature. So you want to uh, signal to your brain that you're okay by using temperature and cooling your body down. So you can either dip your head into cool water if you're having a severe panic attack and you want to just stop it you have access to do that. Um, and you want to make sure you get your, the water to the back of your head where your our animal brain is to kind of send this back into that rest and digest. If you can't do that, you can put ice in your hands or you can also um, blow the air conditioning in your, fa in your face um, if you're in your car really, really cold, um, just to change your temperature. So you want to do that first. Second thing is the eye, and you want to do intense exercise. So if you're at work, go up and down those stairs. Um, if you can walk around the, the building or run, you want to exert a lot of energy uh, after you cool your body down. Or if you can do some cleaning, like clean a stove, and you really want to exert that extra energy that's caused by a panic attack, and it also takes your mind off of those racing thoughts that usually come with a panic attack. So you've changed your temperature, you've done intense exercise, and then you're gonna do some paced, deep breathing, deep belly breathing. And it's gonna be controlled and it's gonna be slow. And if you wanna know how to do deep breathing for anxiety, I have a video on that which I will link below. Sorry I'm talking so fast, my battery is dying, and I wanna get these tips out there. So that's the first P. And the second P is paired muscle relaxation, which is just progressive muscle relaxation. So you can start at your toes, you squeeze your toes and then release. You tense your calves, then you release. You tense your legs, release, tense your let your arms and then you release and so on until you get to the top right even your face and you want to notice the difference between your body tense and your body relax and remember that so through muscle memory you can know what it feels like when your body's relaxing coming from the tension to the relaxation and you can memorize that and you can also use that in your daily life when you want to just relax um, you'll remember how your body does that um, so you're going to pair that with the breathing so again it's tip your temperature intense exercise, paced breathing, and paired muscle relaxation. And then to prevent panic attacks, you just want to use these um, some grounding techniques like deep breathing or listening to music or whatever brings you into the present moment when you're noticing the first signs of a panic attack. Not when you're already heightened and at a 10, but what are your signs when you're at a three, when it's just starting, Get to know that about yourself and when you notice those things like your heart starts racing or you're skipping a breath or some thoughts that usually come first, then you can use those grounding techniques to calm yourself down and prevent a panic attack. Um, also therapy, you can gain insight um, into why you're having these panic attacks with certain situations and instead of avoiding those situations, you can learn how to desensitize yourself by getting to the root of the problem and just creating some self-awareness around that. And I think therapy or journaling or therapy's faster um, and is a really good uh, way to deal with preventing panic attacks. So let me know what you think of this tip and um, the preventative strategies and I wish you well in um, managing your panic attacks and anxiety and let me know what you think below. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Namaste.